Hi guys, here today with the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime. And I wanted to do basically an update on the charging consumption for when you plug in your vehicle overnight. So what I did is I purchased this meter. It's called the Pony Professional. And what it does, it allows you to uh, plug in your uh, charging cord into this meter in, in turn into the outlet. And it gives you an accurate uh, daily consumption of the charge draw on your car. So originally I was using the Toyota app and let me just jump over here. So what I did case in point is I took uh, the statistics from this particular charging session. So in the Toyota app, you could see what your charging history is. Uh, it will record it. It will show you under history. You just go into the Toyota app. Um, and it will give you all your charging sessions over time. Now, there usually is a day or two lag um, till you get the session you want. So in this case, I'm taking the session from April 16th because what I did on that day is I actually, that was the first day I actually plugged in the meter. And as you can see on the bottom, it says, according to uh, Toyota app, it says 6.901 kilowatt hours. In reality, uh, using the meter, it was actually 12.442 kilowatt hours. So the Toyota app is about 55% of what the actual consumption is. So what that means, the average cost um, for me uh, in our area here in New York uh, to recharge the vehicle, considering uh, the rate is about 23 cents per kilowatt hour, so if I calculate it real quick, let me just see, I had it over here. It comes out to $2.86. So kind of comparable to purchasing a gallon of gas, I would say, since you're getting about 44 miles uh, on, on that particular charge. So not bad, I guess. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, if I calculate the cost, uh, again, I'm filling up pretty much every five to six weeks. Uh, as I said, I did an earlier video where I went uh, 1,907 miles between Phillips uh, with daily EV charging. So is it uh, definitely is it a cost savings? Uh, it's not as significant. Like I said, I'm probably saving 20 to 30 dollars a month uh, with doing daily charging and uh, gasoline Phillips than what I would normally use if I had my Gen 3 hybrid. My Gen 3 Prius, I was probably refilling every three to four days. And my commute is 56 miles round trip. I'm basically doing 28 miles each way. And for me, uh, the real value of the car was having access to uh, the HOV lanes, you know, because basically with, uh, with the uh, Prius Prime, it is actually one of the few plug-in hybrids that still uh, that New York State will grant you a clean plastic uh, pass sticker to access HOV. Um, so for me, it's still worth it. Now, as of September 30th, 2025, the rules are apparently supposed to change. I think it's September 30th. Uh, there will no longer be an allowance for single occupancy vehicles. So I'm not quite sure what will happen then. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, what I used to do the calculation. I will say with the Pony app, it's a bit expensive. It's at 60, I think it was like $65 uh, with uh, tax. And um, it's for what it does, like I said, it integrates with the Smart Life app, which I actually use for other devices. I have like Wi Fi outlets and um, uh, uh, light bulbs, and I think it's great. Um, the one thing I wish uh, it was you could uh, export the data uh, for daily charging or do something with it. It's cool that you can access it through the app over Wi-Fi. You don't actually have to physically go to the meter, but the fact that you can buy a standard meter for like 20 bucks, um, I think it's a bit pricey for what it is. And like I said, uh, the function, if I was able to export the data, that would be great. It would make it more valuable. Unfortunately, as you can see in the photo here, you have to go into the app. Um, if I if I bring it in here, you have to kind of go into the app, and and it doesn't really uh, give you the information on a daily on a daily basis. You know, you kind of have to scroll through. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. And this basically gives you an update of what the actual power consumption truly is on the uh, 2023 Toyota Prius Prime.